Here's a final look at our LTS Max. Now this is a forged 6.2 topped off with an Escalade V slash LT5 blower. Makes 850 horsepower on pump gas. Definitely capable of more, but for warranty reasons, we cap them right there. This is a complete ready to drop in solution, complete accessory drive, alternator, power steering pump, sand and AC compressor. Uh, it was really important for us to keep the the belt drive separate, so 10 rib, 10 rib supercharger belt drive, and then the six rib just standard accessory drive. So we'll use the aluminum 6.2 block, whether it be an LT1, L86, L87, we're pretty much just utilizing the block and a factory 6.2 crank, because if you didn't know, they are forged. And then we'll add a Carrillo forged drop and rods and pistons, and although they are forged, we do still take them to the, our machine shop to get balanced, and just blueprinted and all that, just, to, just to, for a little bit of extra insurance. Um, we also do the VVT delete kit with those LME VVT delete and uh, stage three supercharged cam, dual springs, hardened push rods. Um, the cam is, is more aggressive than our stage two, but it's still very streetable. So at 850 horsepower, it's still very streetable. We also did LT4 high pressure uh, fuel, complete high pressure fuel system. So fuel pump, fuel pump and injectors, which LT4, LT5, Escalade V, Blackwing, they all share the same high pressure fuel system. Now these blowers do have an electronic bypass valve in here. Uh, it connects here, we have a controller for that. The other part is on our accessory drive, we wanted to keep it as compact as possible. Um, we test fit this in a lot of chassis. I think the only thing we have, the only chassis we have a little bit of a problem with um, is the AC compressor is on the C3s. Uh, but uh, there we have another option to move the compressor up a little higher, but this fits 99% of all swaps or aftermarket chassis. The LTS Max also comes with a transmission. You can choose between a 10-speed or a T56 Magnum, making this about as complete as you can get it. I mean, this motor comes with everything. Complete accessory drive, transmission, harness, ECUs, bypass valve controller, uh, wires, starter. Uh, the only thing you really have to figure out is your headers. Uh, there are so many options out there now. Uh, for something like this, really just, it's based off your chassis, what you're going in. We, we have headers available. You can buy from your favorite header supplier, manufacturer, and that's all you really need to get this thing going, all the way down to the dipstick. All of these also come with the correct swap pan, the shallow pan, so they're pretty much ready to go. This is essentially our version of the LT5, is what it is. Uh, the blower is basically identical. The, L the only difference is the LT5 had a different lid that said Corvette on it and it had port injection, which if you didn't know, the only reason they would use the port injection on the LT5 was to keep the cats happy. So unless you got into like the performance aspect of it, you weren't really using the port injections at all. Uh, so 850 horsepower, I mean, this thing is pretty solid. The bottom end is built for so much more. Um, but again, we do overbuild. When we do stuff like this, we tend to overbuild them because we want them to last. And the other cool thing about the V stuff with the accessory drive is that we also offer the GM, the GM LT4 long blocks we get, and then we finish them out here. So super low mileage LT4 blower, and, and we'll, do, we'll do all the accessories. Typically we'll do a CVF, kind of keep the cost down or within reason. But if you wanted to do the, you could throw the V blower on the LT4 because the V Blackwing is essentially just an LT4 engine with a bigger blower. So if you wanted to just do a GM crate LT4 long block and you wanted this setup and you just had to have an LT4 from General Motors, it's possible to set this up as well. This is built for a bit more, this is built for a bit more abuse because um, we'll warranty these and not General Motors. So we tend to overbuild them, but here you go. And that's our LTS Max. If you guys missed the train on the LT5 and you were kind of weary about buying one that's been sitting around for three, four years now, uh, this is the perfect setup. It's a fresh build. Like I said, it's, it's forged internals, true forged internals. Um, if you guys just had to have the LT5 lid, uh, we can get the lids and they do bolt on. If you just needed, you wanted to have the LT5 one lid, uh, they're about two, three grand more, uh, but the blowers are essentially identical. Mine is a port injection, again, but you don't actually really need, so. All right, for more information and uh, just more pictures, if you guys want to see more internals and stuff like that, well, I'll have a link to the website. 
and you can see more internally uh, what we did to this thing and then just more pictures of it in general. So thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.